everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is Halloween and I'm going to be making a standalone ghost. If you want to continue watching this video, I will show you the ingredients that you need and exactly what you will be doing. So today we're going to start off using parchment paper on the table. I have tape. You're going to need a little bit of tape to um, tape, of course, tape your thing on the table. So you want to at least have two long sheets on the table for your ghost to dry and for you to be able to make your ghost. Okay. So I've set up my parchment paper, moving my bowls. Okay, so I've set up my parchment paper. And you want to make sure you tape it down where it needs to be. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going along each side and using a little bit of tape. doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to get it taped down so none of the sides come up. Okay, so, whoops, now i got to add one more piece to, okay, so once you've got your table completely covered on this one side over here, okay, this is where we're going to be working. The things that you will be needing today, of course, is tape. You've already used your parchment paper, which is really wax paper. You will need, it's called cheesecloth. I've got this from my local grocery store. And this is the um, cover of it. It was about $2 for two yards, two square yards. So, I got that. Another thing you'll be needing is a glass bowl, a one cup measuring, and you will need a bottle of Elmer's glue, Mod Podge, or liquid starch. I'm gonna set my bowls off to the side. And I have a bowl over here full of warm water right here. Um, I'm not gonna get that out just because it's heavy. Um, something that I've already done is I've already taken my um, package of cheesecloth out of the packaging and I opened it up, I folded it over like this, take it like this, folded it over, and then I cut it right here. But this is one yard of it. Um, I have another yard over there in the corner. So I have that, just put that right there. Another thing you'll be needing is a balloon. And I have a vase. You could use a bottle or you could use a vase. You could use anything you please that pleases you. And all you're going to do is you're going to go around your sides and you're going to tape it. I got eight balloons for a dollar and they are tie dye balloons. So, um, that's what I'm going to be using today is the tie dye balloon. I blew it up a good size just so my ghost could be able to stand. I'm also going to put that off to the side. And we're going to start making our liquid glue stuff. So take my thing and put it off to the side. Take my bottle of glue. You want to squeeze the bottle out. Squeeze it out on the table or on into your bucket. Don't you don't have to use all of the glue in the bottle like I did in my slime videos. Um, you just need to get a good enough a good amount out and scoop up one cup of water, hot water. In your mixture 
And the other thing I meant to tell you that you need is a spoon, which I will have to get really fast. Okay. I got my spoon and I'm just going to stir it. You want to make sure that it's all stirred together. Get your hands in there, kind of work the glue and the water together. Okay, make sure it's all mixed together. Okay, and then what you're going to do, you're going to take your all of your cheesecloth and you're just going to dip it in the water. Okay, bring it out. Okay, and you're going to get your balloon and your glass bottle over here. I'm going to kind of just coat my balloon with what I have on my hands. Get some more of my hands, and I'm just going to coat my balloon so it's fully covered in a gluish water mixture. This helps it stick more. Okay, and I'm going to take my cheesecloth and I'm going to spread it out. I have to stand up to do this. If you're dressing up for Halloween, put down in the comments what you're going to be. I am going to stay home tonight and we are going to watch a movie and have s'mores at my house for Halloween. We're not going to go do anything. So, if you are dressing up, tell me what you're going to be. Okay? I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to put it over the balloon. And you want to make sure every little thing is spread out. That adds detail. If it's all spread out, it looks better and it makes a longer ghost. And if you want to know what movie I'm going to be watching, I will be watching Ghostbusters. So that kind of inspired me to make my ghost for tonight. If you want to, you can kind of just go along and make sure that you have a little bit touching the ground or the cloth on each side. And after this dries, you're going to leave this overnight. And after this dries, you will have, of course, your standalone ghost. But another thing that you will um, notice is that it doesn't have any eyes. So all you have to do is either take a marker or take a um, felt, two felt circles, and hot glue them to your ghost.
Okie dokie. And this is all you do. And you let it dry. And you will have a ghost by either in the morning or depending on what time you will be trick or treating. You can put your ghost out for people to see. And I thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see more. Oh yeah, sorry. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I hope to see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.